Meanwhile, tonight, families are demanding another change in one North Texas school district, protesting the new acting superintendent. Tonight, Caroline Vandergriff is in DeSoto. Just days before the start of the school year, a protest about who's leading DeSoto ISD. We need somebody over our kids that has their best interests at heart. Superintendent Dr. DeAndre Weaver abruptly resigned over the weekend. His replacement, Don Hooper, found himself in the middle of controversy after some of his old Facebook posts resurfaced days after he was appointed to the job. Hooper shared a meme making fun of black activist and former NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick. Another post about Democrats said they haven't been this mad at Republicans since we freed their slaves. And this is not something that he posted when he was much younger, didn't know any better. This was within the last two years. And to post something that's so racially charged and just so uh, offensive, this is not a person that needs to be in any influential position in a DeSoto school district. In a statement, the acting superintendent apologized, saying the content doesn't reflect his leadership or his character. But these families just aren't buying it. First, we want Don Hooper out. Secondly, we want to get our district together. A recent TEA investigation found years of financial mismanagement and other issues and appointed a state conservator this week to help get the troubled district back on track. What we need to be doing is getting the right people in the right seats right now because our children have been through a lot and we need to stop all this chaos that's going on. The DeSoto ISD Board of Trustees has called a special meeting for Sunday night to discuss who's going to be superintendent. The new school year is expected to start the following Tuesday with at-home learning. In DeSoto, I'm Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News. Caroline, thank you. And DeSoto ISD, for some background here, has had legal and financial issues for years. Rewind to April of 2018, the previous superintendent, David Harris, resigned while under investigation by the board. Budget problems then soon came to light. Fast forward to February of 2019, a CBS 11 investigation uncovered years of questionable spending by the Harris administration. A few months later, last year in May, the district then laid off dozens of teachers amid a huge budget shortage. Shortfall. Then we go to January of this year. Trustees approved a forensic audit which revealed more evidence of misspending prior to 2018.